Hi, my beautiful loves. Welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. So this is for my beautiful loves who chose pile number one. How is my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this planet, okay? So this is your pile. This is for those bougie ass bitches who chose pile number one, Ariel. Yeah, because like, seriously, Ariel's a really hot bitch. She's only 16. This fucking Disney movie is so corrupt. There's so much residual magic and progressive programming put into kids for toxic ass self-love fucking habits. That's all I'm gonna say about this toxic ass movie. On the right side, on the right side, it's such a gorgeous bougie ass lipstick, okay? Minus the darkness that comes with the fucking movie. Holy shit. Disney's so fucking toxic. Anyways, my beautiful babies. Besides that, if you guys want the tea on residual magic, what the fuck am I talking about? The dark forces that are we are fighting right now at this current battle, how to how to protect yourself and your house and your family and your car. Um, just any kind of information, spirit guides, what the fuck's a karmic soulmate, your twin flame, etc. You can just go onto my other channel link down below, Cherish Love Talks, okay? Yes. So this is for you, my beautiful babies. Pile number one, this bougie ash, bougie ash, bougie ass Ariel. What is my person thinking about me? All right, let's get into it. Um. Oh damn. I don't look at this stuff, you guys. You guys know me. I just pray on stuff and I pick it. So I just chose those three from the beautiful love oracles, and I'm also going to pick two of these for you Ooh, and they just fucking came out you guys seen that you guys must have some powerful ass energy a brew in here this lovely beautiful day and one more creator kitchy Muntu. oh i guess they wanted two so we're gonna choose two all right my beautiful fucking gq model vogue the vogue pile i'm gonna say because any vogue ass bitch is going to pick ariel okay let's keep it real here Wow, you guys. Okay, <laughs> like fuck off. Look at this soulmate true love. Are you fucking kidding me? This person straight off off the hop is in love with your bougie Vogue ass, okay? Damn, damn sis, who the fuck are you? Who are you, Jennifer Lopez? Are you motherfucking Jennifer Lopez tuning into Beautiful Love Tarot? If you are, comment, hello. Hey JLo, hey. <laughs> Yo, this guy, man, this guy, whoever you're inquiring about, oh, he's in his feels, man. He has that Drake-ass energy. He has that Drake love. He's in love with you. He's in love with the Coco. He is in love with you. Okay, let's get higher, deeper into it. Oh, my God. Look at y'all. We have three here. Gosh, extra cards. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so first off with the feels, I want you to love me like you never loved before whoa you guys holy fuck whoa i want to be in this relationship holy shit i want you to love me like you never loved someone else that's that chris brown song what is it fucking called now i want you to love me man you know when the seasons change and you know the cold season comes around I never get a cold because I'm 100% healthy. Thank you to my sexy ass physical vessel that keeps me nice and healthy 100%. Um, but yeah, usually I sing better, but I was singing all day yesterday at work to my clients because these bitches love, what song was I singing to them? Oh, I was singing that song. You're so vain, I bet you think the song is about you. You're so vain. And like, y'all know that I work mental health addictions, right? So I was on the streets. I, people shooting up and shit and I work in I make sure that they're shooting up safely so I was going ham singing this and we're all dancing on the street but anyways I want you to love me like you never love nobody else that's that Chris Brown song if any of you guys know which song it is tell me okay because it's I'm having a pickle in my brain my heart goes up and down when it's you I see all these girls so salty because you're so sweet. 
you ain't the one, but you're the one for me. Wow, you guys, this is the most beautiful love story I've ever seen in my whole entire fucking life. And to think I wasn't even gonna come on here today and do a reading, but I was just like, yo, I have a lot of energy today and I love my people. I love you guys so much. I just have to gift them with this knowledge. And you know what? I'm happy I woke up and I did this because look how fucking beautiful of energy is coming through you guys. This is some high vibrational, you know, when people say, oh, only in the 5D, motherfucking explain the 5D. Okay, the 5D is the Christ consciousness. 5D is unconditional love. 5D is the Godhead vibration that illuminates and pours into the realm of the higher ups, okay? I know this because I was gifted when I was going through a really dark time of dark, dark suicide. If y'all don't know my history, watch my other channel, but... um super fucking went through a lot of genocide in my younger years almost died a lot of times um so creator and the other side gifted me went took me on an astral travel because i astral travel a lot they took me to the heaven and i seen it and i felt it and yo heaven i didn't want to come back i didn't want to fucking come back the love that you feel in the 5d frequency that heaven unconditional love you guys i can't even there's no words on this planet that could metaphorically ever explain the love that we feel from our our, our creator our god force from which we come i can't explain it i can't it's just that powerful anyways that's what people are talking about when they're talking about 5d on youtube is uh, unconditional love in the christ consciousness okay um, okay, what do I have here? This pains me as much as it pains you. Oh, damn. There's some separation going on. <sighs> Obviously. Wow, you guys, this is like the most beautiful love story in the whole entire gal galactic realm going on right now, you guys. This is some... Um, you guys have a live and living color like love. Like, holy shit. Who the fuck are you? You're obviously a Vogue bougie ass bitch. You know how to shop. Like even if you have to go into Salvation and Valley Village, you'll come out with the most bougie ass outfit because that's just who you are. You're just a naturally beautiful person. You know how to make fucking lemons into lemonade, then some, all of a sudden there's some hard shit there, punch drunk. Here we go. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. Look it, this is the Ten of Cups. <gasps> oh do you see this words can't even i can't even i can't even you guys what the fuck oh look at the happy family this is like every fucking like this is like a rod and jennifer lopez and their freaking kids like honestly you guys this is you guys have a beautiful love story this is like your guys's love is the kind of love story that they write in books okay wow this guy loves you for solid foundation he feels safe with you secure safe loved he just feels like everything in the whole entire world revolves around you and that's it wow you guys this guy wants the whole nine yards with you like he wants he wants this is you guys definitely have a powerful love that goes past the ions and past this lifetime door to spirit yeah you guys have this beautiful love that like i said goes past the ions you guys are definitely definitely um finishing your love story from past ions aka past lives many past lives whether he was your son in a past life whether he was um your very best best friend in the war you know, like this kind of, it's a deep, but I'm not getting the best friend anymore. I'm getting a really unconditional melted love, like a soul, high-end soulmate. Um, you guys definitely, this, oh, it's just so warm and beautiful. Like these are heaven vibes, you guys. Wow, this fucking beautiful love, man. Wow, you guys know me. Like I keep it real. I'm a savage, um, literally. Kind of derogatory when other people say it because, yo, savage comes from les sauvages and that was what my indigenous ancestors were fucking called because they were considered savage les sauvages and then they kind of made it into english lingo which is savage it's like saying any kind of derogatory thing to a group of people right so when they say oh that's so savage bruh do you even know what the fuck you're saying it's kind of derogatory and offensive bitch 
But anyways, you guys know me. I keep it real. This is the most sprinkly ass love. This is the closest thing to the mo a Nicholas Sparks movie. Oh, this reading so far is so fucking beautiful, you guys. Wow. Truth is in the booth, and this is beautiful. We got first chakra, Archangel Michael. Wow, root chakra, you guys. Wow. This is security, stability, safety. Really trying to... He feels so safe with you, so secure. He wants to make the foundation of your guys' life together. It's rooted. If you guys don't know what the root chakra is, it's the chakra that has to be healthy. It's the most important root chakra. And it has to be healthy as fuck in order for you to be healed and have good relationships with other people. So this person has come a long way on their journey and so have you. And you guys are now ready to unite in this lifetime. Fucking unite Power Rangers and put your guys' energetic power together. Like, this is fucking beautiful. This is my favorite chakra. I work on this on a daily basis. If you come from trauma, rape, um, a violent childhood maybe a foster home system. The root chakra is the number one thing you want to heal in, in this lifetime. And it's such a, healing is such an individual journey. And your person has done a lot of that. And so have you. That's why you guys are being rewarded with this beautiful, gorgeous, fucking beautiful love story that, yo, all the angels are up in heaven, snapshotting, chick, chick, chick. Like that Mama of Mean Girls. Did you guys watch that movie? That Mama of Mean Girls. Everybody in heaven is pulling the Mama of Mean Girls to you guys. And just so proud of you guys. And you guys, the red carpet's rolled out for this love. It really is. Because love like this is to be witnessed, you guys. It's so beautiful. So beautiful, you guys. Especially when the heavens are blessing such a united love with the door to spirit. Heaven, the angels sing for you guys. Angels cry. Beautiful. All right, now we'll get into your tarot. Fuck, we haven't even gotten to your tarot when I'm just crying. I'm just tearing up from your guys' powerful love here. Wow. All right, so we start off with justice. Six of Wands. Wow, you guys. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. And then we have Seven of Wands. <laughs> too deadly <laughs> this looks like oh i like that i love this card um <laughs> and then we have three of swords my heart goes up and down when it's you i see <gasps> you guys look at this the lovers we end it with the lovers oh my god Wow, you guys, we have so much rainbows up in this bitch and love and yellows and golds, loyalty, royalty. You guys are fucking twin flames. Fuck this shit. Y'all are twin flames. I said it. I dropped the twin flames. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I just dropped the twin flames. I never dropped the twin flames. In all my YouTube career, I probably only said twin flames to like four or five piles out of the fucking hundreds. <sighs> wow, you guys. I can't even with you guys. I can't. Like, I fuck. I can't. Um, wow. This is the most beautiful reading in the world. So, yeah. So, obviously, there's some separation going on. There's some discrepancies going on in the current circumstances. But you know what? Separation and bumps in the hills make couples stronger. They make people better. They make you stronger. They make you connected, okay? So, don't think that this is... You guys are going to get over this. This is just a little baby bump in the road and it will make you stronger. You need some fire friction to really make that fucking hot sauce to glue it together. Um, your person right now is really thinking that you guys are fighting. He loves you. He fucking loves you. He's attracted to you. You have a nice big ass ghetto booty. Um, yeah, he wants to tap it like he just wants to hold your butt all the fucking time. Right it from the back, etc. He loves your booty. He's a booty guy. He's not a boob guy. He's a booty. It's all about the booty with this guy, okay? Um, he loves your booty. Um, but right now, y'all are fighting. There's some discrepancies. Maybe there's a lot of talks in the ear, some distance, but guards are up. But he knows that he's going to swiftly make it through. He knows you guys are going to make it through this battle. He knows that you guys are going to fight your way through it. And no matter what, he will fucking knock out a bitch in order to get to you, okay? It's going to be all good in the hood. This guy loves you. you. He knows that in the current circumstances, there's a couple um, there's a couple hurdles to go through, but he's ready just to 
smash him and on top of that make some world records with that shit because he's an alchemist he turns any pain into into grace and beauty like a true warrior like a fucking gladiator okay so he's gonna you guys are gonna make it through these hurdles because there's no way he's going to ever stay away from that boat say hey, hey not only is he uh energetically attracted to you naturally because of the flow of your energy like that's the first thing that turns him off turns him off turns him on first of all is your beautiful ass energy okay he gets turned on from your energy alone um you <laughs> Like, you make him, you know, you make him hit orgasm without even touching the motherfucker. Even before y'all even physically were in the same room, he was orgasming off your beautiful ass energy and just everything about you, okay? Okay. Because this is a love that no matter what was written in the stars. We can touch the stars above if wow you guys this beautiful love the scales have been weighted out the scales have been weighted out you did your healing journey he did his healing journey now the universe is blessing you guys with this love this love okay wow you guys yeah so in the future he's really thinking <sighs> In the current energy, the future, he's thinking of bust, you're going to break his heart. That's what this whole separation thing's about. In the near future, he's thinking you're going to break his heart. I don't know why he's thinking so pessimistic. There's obviously some, some fights and battles y'all are going through in the current energy. He knows you guys can make it through, but he's afraid that you're just going to bust his heart anyways. You're going to break his heart. And I think it's because... He might have fucked up in the past and there might have been his crazy ass ex that was trying to get into your guys' love story. And you know, she's one of those exes that's hella manipulative, hella toxic as fuck, and she's probably a good talker, but she's manipulative. And he's thinking that because she came in to your guys' perfect, beautiful love story that she's just gonna fuck it right up and you will never ever see him the same way. This can be also a mother, a very toxic, toxic, karmic mom. So it can be his mom. Because those are the most unconditional love that you will ever experience in this life, you guys. Are the most powerful soul lessons is always from a mother or your lover. Okay? Karmic lessons. So it's either a mother that's really fucking toxic to her son, very controlling and jealous... Or it's the next lover he's just getting out of a relationship with, okay? But he's really, like, feeling that when he comes back to you and kisses your ass and apologizes because he loves you so much, you're not going to take him back. And he's just going to be sad for the rest of his life listening to fucking Whiskey Lullaby drink himself to death. <laughs> Did you guys ever hear that Whiskey Lullaby song? She put him out. Like a burn and I'm in that cigarette. She broke us all. Found us all of trying to forget. So yeah, that's what he thinks he's going to be playing for the rest of his life if you don't take him back in the future. Because he really is really super sorry. So he knows that you guys have this huge choice to make. And he's really hoping you choose him. He's really hoping that you don't break his heart and leave him forever and leave him fucking down and out because you would be the one that got away. You're the best he's ever, ever fucking had. And he knows that you guys are soulmates and you guys have this big, big fucking deep union that cannot be broken. So no matter what, he would always walk this earth, always thinking about you. He will always love you. He will always fucking love you, you guys. Whitney Houston, always love you. I separate the music from the artist. <laughs> but yeah, he will always love you. He will always fucking love you. Whatever you choose, he will always love you. Always fucking love you, you guys. Wow. Because he knows deep down that you guys have this unconditional love eternally, forever and ever. Amen. But he just hopes that you don't bust his heart and he promises he will never, ever do you dirty. Never, never do you dirty ever again. He'll love you till the day that the good Lord takes him back home. Hopefully with you. 
is what he's hoping. So he wants to heal all this. He wants to heal the brokenness and the sadness and he wants to heal the root foundations of your guys' love, the root chakra, and he wants to grow from it. You know, through trauma and through violence, breakups, heartbreak, comes the most beautiful, powerful, strongest people in the world, okay? You guys, like we have beautiful Mandela who was locked up for almost 30 years, who came out so loving, so humble, so beautiful hearted. You know, out of great trauma and great heartbreak have come the most beautiful leaders in the world, you guys. Um, so definitely out of this sadness and very separation and shit show you guys are going through right now, there's beautiful alchemy and beautiful love and healing, powerful, powerful healing moving forward. And that's what Twin Flames are all about, right? Greatest fucking pain, but the greatest, the greatest rising on the whole entire planet of partnership. Look at this pains me as much as it pains you. The separation's killing this guy. This guy fucking crying, man. Whiskey lullaby. Google uh YouTube, Spotify, YouTube music, um, iTunes music, that shit. Because this guy's in his feels when it comes to you. He's crying his eyes out. Probably sits in his squad car or his fucking carpentry truck, whatever the hell he does, and just cries thinking about you and plays that country music song, Whiskey Lullaby. He loves you, man. This guy loves you. <sighs> he just loves you so much, you guys. This separation is meant for spiritual growth. This separation is meant to really take out any other um, cobwebs of the past and make clearance for a stronger, evolved version of you and him, okay? So the separation, there's a reason for it. There's a reason for this heartbreak. It's the last of the cobwebs getting the fuck out to be better unite you guys stronger, okay? No pain, no motherfucking gain. Let's say that together. Everybody, orchestra, angels, y'all. No pain, no fucking gain, okay? So this, definitely the separation, this heartbreak you guys are going through is meant to make you guys more stronger and powerful and weed out the weak-ass cobwebs of the past and make room for beautiful energy and beautiful coming together, okay? Because this guy fucking loves you and the angels are really divinely timing, making y'all heal separately to come better back together stronger than ever okay he loves you he fucking loves you and you know what i love you i love you because you're a fucking good person because i can feel your energy and your energy is just bomb.com like i would i'd go bowling with your ass whoever's watching this vogue ass vogue ass bougie ass bitch i would go bowling with you and we would have a damn good time okay because you have some bomb energy and I like that. Um, he's coming back. Don't you worry if you're wondering, oh, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. <laughs> he's coming back. <laughs> he is, because he loves you. All eyes on you. He fucking loves you, you guys, man. He loves you. He loves you. I love you. The angels love you. We all love you. We all fucking love you. He loves you. He loves you and he's gonna protect you put, and be protect you from anybody who hurts you and breaks your heart. He'll kick them. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get some advice from the angels. Holy man. Just for you. Just for you in this meantime of this separation of your beautiful love. Let's get one piece of advice from your ancestors who walk with you and your spirit guide. Because he's gonna come back. He loves you and he's thinking about He's just kind of thinking you're going to bust his heart right open because of the this. But when he does come back, um, be gentle with him and be patient. Love is patient. Love is kind. Even though you, we know you want to probably low-key wring his neck and shit. Um, but try just be patient with him. And in the meantime, just love yourself and maybe buy a vibrator. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's going to come back. So just be patient, okay? Do a lot of salt baths, go to the gym, wax your ass since you have a fine ass butt, you know, take some selfies for social media that you know his thirsty ass is going to be creeping and looking at you. We all know he's looking at you. Like we all know that this guy is sees everything in you, everything knocking you up, buying a house, owning a company, everything. You're going to be co-signing everything for this guy because he loves you so much. Best friends forever. BFFs. 
All right, let's get some advice from your ancestors and spirit guides. In the meantime, during the separation, just one piece of advice. Palladius, Palladius, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So your ass has a lot of Palladian DNA um, that's getting really super activated right now, especially with the spiritual awakening and the spiritual war that's going on right now. That's already been won. So now we just have to battle the physical realm, the earth realm right now. So your Palladian, your DNA in your body, because we all have extraterrestrial uh, hybrids, walking this earth but you have a, a high amount of palladian um dna in you so it's really activated right now so not no this makes sense to me because you can only be united with the twin flame when you're really fucking evolved 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 soul you guys so then you have come through a lot of um soul lessons okay and you pass them so you my beautiful baby uh this makes sense to me because you and this guy, you guys are both fucking aliens, Palladians, and star seeds, aka also known as star seeds. And the only place, the only time you're united with your star seed uh, counterpart is when you're a highly evolved soul and you've passed a lot of soul lessons. So together, when you guys do, even just you, you're not only here just to like, you know, meet the love of your life, get married, have kids. You're also here at this time of awakening because you're one of the souls on a mission to really uprise humanity at this time because this is the great awakening and you're also here to just living on this planet you're uplifting the grid energy okay you're uplifting your family your friends your neighbors you're waking people up and you're planting the seed you're a light warrior you're waking people up to that this is a matrix and this is all a fucking chess game for the one percent the reptilians right so you're definitely the woke one in your family and you're waking everybody the fuck up and you don't give a fuck who says shit about you that you're crazy you don't care because you're living in your light and your purpose and you're living in your truth and that's the only time when you you are valid to link up with your soulmate is when you're living in your truth and what you came here to do and my baby my baby my sister you are living in your motherfucking truth so good for you this is the angels really telling you, keep walking in your truth, keep being a warrior of love and keep walking in your truth and speaking the truth because you are a Palladian, which is the fucking aliens of love and you are hella, hella, hella powerful. All of that Palladian DNA in you is being initiated and yo, you're doing a good job. So keep speaking your truth, keep walking in your truth and keep up the good fucking work. You're doing amazing. Hi, my beautiful babies, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. This is for my beautiful loves who chose this beautiful jasmine. This is pile number two. Jasmine, lip seal, okay? Fucking beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous, you guys. How about, how about, let's see the tip. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how adorable this is. Aww. I'll smell it for you, okay? Mmm, smells like berries. <laughs> It smells like berries, you guys. Oh, so this is for pal number two, my beautiful babies who's who chose Jasmine, okay? How's your person feeling about you? Deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this planet Earth, okay? They don't tell their mama, their brother, their best friend. They just, like, hold it in. Well, I guess it depends, right? I don't want to get too motherfucking specific on you guys, but yeah, pile number two. How's your person feeling about you? Okay, let's get into it. So, if y'all want to know what the fuck I'm talking about half the time, anything like that, you can go to my other channel link down below, Cherish Love Talks, okay? There we can talk about aliens, astral traveling, the dark side, the spiritual war, the spiritual grids, adronochrome, anything. Anything. I. It's not just a tip. I'm, go I'm coming in all the way with that shit on the other channel. Also, just a disclaimer. If y'all don't like um, a person straight, no chaser, I swear a lot, fuck, 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 now that we got that out of the way. If, I, if I'm not your tarot reader, go find somebody else, because that's just how I roll. None of this petty keyboard warrior bullshit, okay? We don't do that here. This is pure love. Love. Vava. 
It's my motherfucking legal middle name I was born with, bitch. I think I know love. Okay, so, yes, let's get into it. <laughs> this is so, I can't get over how cute that is. Oh my, you guys, like, it's so fucking gorgeous. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually grab two of these babies right now, right off the hop, okay? Ooh, you guys seen that, right? Oh, that's how the universe wants to play. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, what the hell? Yo, y'all just got to hold up and be patient with me right now because my tracks are going nuts and that ain't cool with me. Okay. All right, so these two popped out. I don't know if you guys seen this. Free yourself. Free yourself. And we have make the effort. So let's get into more deep feels of what the hell your person's feeling deep down in their heart space. With the feeler cards, beautiful love oracle cards, custom made. Let's get into it. Helen of Troy wishes she was half as fine as your fine ass. So I don't know if you guys ever watched, um, if you guys ever had to read Odysseus's journey. Did you guys ever have to read Odysseus's journey in um, high school or whatever? And then there was that broad Helena Troy. She kind of like, you know, fucked off in the in the night with uh, the prince of the prince of Troy actually, and um, pretty much started this huge gave an excuse for the Greeks to go and invade Troy, which used to be myth mythologically. <laughs> mythology considered mythology just like the greek gods until they just found troy the city in 1978 they discovered it it was massacred everything they found old pottery from old king hames um to king of troy hymes i don't know how to pronounce it something like that but anyways so yeah troy and it was actually the ancient city of troy is actually in what is now the country turkey cool hey anyway so this chick Troy, uh this chick helen in the whole entire book they break her up she's like the hottest chick in the whole entire world and she's like god status so if this guy motherfucking thinks that you're you're like you are way the hell hotter than that bitch like you're way 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 hotter like you're smoking hot like helena Troy's, she ain't got shit on your fine ass like your essence your energy my watcher yeah, this guy really obsessed with you, first of all. <laughs> Buy you a happy meal. Mm-hmm. I was already like this before you met me. I am in constant pain. All right, let's get into your tarot. Page of voices. Page of voices. So this is like my page of swords. Ten of Wands. We have Five of Swords. The Star Card. Did you guys see that? The Star Card. And Ten of Cups. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. Let's get... So we... You guys know what's up, right? Like this guy, he's, I'm just going to get right into it. So this guy on his spiritual journey in life, um, he's a youngster. He's a young, he's a young buck. He's a, he's a, you know, he has a lot of growing he has got to do in life. Um, I feel like he has addiction. Whether, I don't know what his addiction is, but I feel like he has, a lot of demons that he still has to battle. I'm feeling energies of tired, of low frequency. Um, I'm feeling like he tries to portray a lot of feelings, but I just feel like he's super exasperated. I feel like he's kind of done for the count when it comes to this relationship. You feel me? You feel me? You relating to me? I'll actually pick one of these ones too, okay? One of these ones for you guys. But this guy's exasperated. That's the, um, yo, that one jumped out. Um, that's the word that came to my heart. So he thinks 
We got woman holding a coin upside down. So he definitely thinks that you have struggles of your own financially right now. And usually up, this bitch, she's a rich bitch, like upwards. So when he thinks about you in this present energy, he feels like it's a winless battle. Like you guys both said what you had to do. You guys both argued the last time you guys spoke. You guys both argued. You guys both agreed to disagree, but you guys both walked away from each other. Um... I feel like he knows that he has problems. I feel like he knows that you ain't perfect either. But nevertheless, he still loves you for who you are. He does have addictions, you guys. We have the free yourself card here. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about this card. So yeah, he definitely has some issues that he's trying to just fix on his own right now. It has nothing to do with you. It's just all his own battle on his own. So right now, he's thinking he really freaking... He's attracted, like, when y'all first hooked up, like, this guy was, like, avidly creeping your ass. So, yeah, so, like, when he first linked up with you guys, like, he really thought that, oh, yeah, she has a, you know, she's interesting. I fucking think she's hot shit. She's, like, super fine. She's super hot. She obviously... I want to tap that. I want to tap it. I want to tap it all day, every day. So when he first met you, it was super great, super awesome. Creeped on you. Creeped on you a lot. Like, this is the creeper. Look at, like, Volk, like, fucking legit. Like, legit clearing the glasses so they can creep the fuck out of your life, okay? So this guy definitely creeped on you, pursued you, and it took a long while. Like, it took, like, not like a Ted, not like a Ted Bundy, um... Not like that kind of while, but it took like a, a healthy, creepy while because obviously we got this guy readjusting his glasses, right? Um, so why does this page of fucking out of all the page of swords, this one looks like super nerdy, not nerdy, but like you know, serial killers are always so, so tiny, scrawny, and skinny, you know what I mean, and Caucasian blondish. I don't know, I'm just stereotyping though. Sometimes they're bl you know, all colors. I ain't trying to, but come on, keeping it real, 98% of them are just what it th I physically said. I know this shit because I've been working in prisons for 12 years and I studied s serial killers avidly my whole life. I've worked with some and I've actually counseled some sociopaths. So yeah, this guy thinks in the, you know, in the past it was really hard to accommodate his bad, his bad addictions, his bad ways of thinking. His, the way he likes to carry on in life is not healthy, so... He, keeping you in the mix would have been just more of a burden keeping him away from what he loves to do which is negative thinking um old negative addictions and cycles and those do take a long time to heal from you guys because we are not our past we are not our past so this guy in the current energy he's just like walking away because we have the five of swords which is a winless battle like i'm just gonna walk away we already said what we had to say we already argued i just gotta walk away even though i really was intrigued from her she was very captivating i do have to walk away now so does she and it's like we both won because now she can get her finances back together possibly you guys i'm not gonna lie possibly this guy with his bad addictions was probably really taxing for you maybe you were paying for all the gas maybe you were paying for all the cell phone I don't know, fuck, I was gonna say, no one pays for fucking long distance phone calls nowadays, but maybe you were paying for all like the time off that you were trying to take to go see him, the gas money to go see him, maybe all the outfits you were trying to buy, maybe the food, the pizzas you were buying for him cost money. So this little pecker definitely was costing you some bag and he's seen you as, oh, she's not financially stable. So this guy in the current energy sees you as financially getting your paper together because right now he sees you as financially not the most stable, okay? Um, so even him, even his weak ass is like, yo, I'll buy you a happy meal. You know what I mean? Because right now he sees that you're not financially, you're not financially straight right now is what he's seeing. What he does in the future, really want to like mend it. In the future, he really wants to like make it better he really wants to like clear it he really wants to heal whatever needs to be healed and he just wants to move the fuck on like he wants to heal whatever needs to be healed and heal you guys he wants to just have that creative stability um the divine healing from up above and he just wants to move on with you he wants a lot of healing because 
he does want to make an effort. He does want to make an effort to come towards you in the future. But right now, he just doesn't feel like it's like the best thing because you guys are 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 currently in an argumentative state. You guys are in a disagreement state at the current energy, okay? So in the future, he is going to make the effort to come towards your finance because we all know you're tapity tapity tapity. And he does want us to have this beautiful, cherry, happy, like gorgeous, beautiful life with you, like straight up. You know what I mean? He does see having this beautiful family with you, having this beautiful, like, gorgeous, abundant life with you. He does. I ain't gonna lie. He does. But it's not what he wants. It's what's for your highest good. You know what I mean? This guy really sees you as beautiful. He's attracted to you. He's He sees you in a sexual way also, like, very sexual. Um, he's very physically attracted to you, and... If you are ever blaming yourself, thinking, what did I do wrong? Did I fuck up? Was why, was why did he just abandon me or ghost me? It has nothing to do with you. This guy, he's telling you, his higher self's communicating. I was already like this before you met me. I am in constant pain. So this guy's obviously, all this addiction that he's addicted to, all this negative bad habits is obviously stemming from something that he's never dealt with ever since childhood. So he's carrying that pain in his aura. When you don't... When you don't forgive anything from your guys' child, whether it's an abusive parent, a sexual abuser, cousin, whatever, you are going to attract that, those same violent energies into your aura as an adult. You gotta clear that aura, you gotta heal that aura space. The only way you can do it is heal and feel. That means extreme pain for a couple days in your bed, healing and feeling it 100%, okay? So this guy needs to go through that still. That's why people turn to addictions, it's to suppress the pain, right? suppression so this guy this guy he sees you as the star of the show this beautiful fine ass fuck hell in a troy so but let's see how this would go if you waited for him once your finances are together and once he makes the effort let's see how the story goes from the divine side okay from the higher oh from the higher ups okay so this is the first one that popped out. Um, so this is the higher ups, the guides, how it would go if you guys, if once he does come forward, how it's going to go, right? Um, it's going to be some hard work. Like, it's going to be very tedious to keep this train rolling. They ain't going to lie. They don't, when they want to say shit, they know the collective energies that choose certain piles. Also, your intuition also subconsciously picks it right um it's gonna be it's gonna be some hard exasperating tedious ass exhaustive work making this and no relationship should be fucking work it should be 50 50 um the other one that fell out here was fast communication so good news this guy's a great communicator you know he's gonna communicate good to you he's gonna communicate communicate all the motherfucking time he's gonna be fast you know what i mean Maybe his addictions crack, who knows? But he's gonna be a good communicator. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna work out. Uh, I can't make this up. You guys seen these cards jump out. Um, I can't make this up. This was the card, the thesis of the whole entire motherfucking essay and pretty much there's no, it's futile. This is a futile union and I, oh, and I know that it sucks to hear that, but so does heartbreak, so does depression, so is su suicidal thoughts from a really shitty life-sucking relationship. So might as well just hear it right, straight, clear right now, okay? S there's no happy ending, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, this guy sees you as the star of the show, but of, of course he would. You're fucking bomb.com, you're way higher frequencies of him. Of course he's gonna see you as amazing healer that you are. Of course he's gonna want this family with you so he can tie you down. You're a prize. He's... Of course he wants to fucking knock you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course he does. But the guy, look at yo, listen up. Hurt people hurt people. This guy needs to heal. And it, usually, my dudes, sometimes it takes people till seven years old till they finally heal and forgive and let it go. You know? So don't fucking waste your whole life waiting around, putting all your energy into such a fucking hard project. You know? Because there's, it's going to be futile. Your heart's just going to be busted in the end anyways. And that spirit's perspective on it, okay? All right. But I'm not going to just leave you really all 
all brutally feeling like shit, okay? You also got to heal your own self. So let's see some what you got to work on in your own beautiful, beautiful, fine ass life because you're a gem. You chose Jasmine. Like, let's see what you got to work on, okay? Yeah, healers. When you start off as a healer in this healer life, you attract a lot of... Uh, you attract a lot of people that are really sad. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the heart chakra. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So you have a big heart. You're healing. Your heart's growing. Your heart's growing. The first card that popped out was uh, action. Action is all about following your dreams. Don't lose that passion because the dream that you have, you guys, that passion you have is there for a reason. And right now you have all these beautiful energies that are coming in to bless you with your beautiful, passionate project that keeps popping in your head. But just keep putting it on the back burner because you don't you think not enough finances, not enough time. But, yo, this is your message saying jump on that fucking wave because in life we only have a couple opportunities and doors that open. So jump on it because right now there's a huge door that's opening and yo, listen up. You're a fucking healer. You're a healer of the ages. You are. You're naturally empathic. Maybe you should look into doing some Reiki, some energy healing. Mm. Magician in the mirror. This guy was at the bottom. This fucking guy, man. Who does he look like? He looks like Einstein mixed with that guy off Lord of the Rings. Anyways... Yeah, definitely the world's your oyster. This guy was at the bottom of this action. But yeah, definitely when this one pops up, you guys got to jump on that frequency and that p passionate idea that you guys have. Quit taking advantage of these beautiful dream gifts that you have and putting them on the back burner. We ain't about that life. This is the also dropped out. This is the world card. And when this card pops out, that means that you are not seeing all the beautiful opportunities. Like, you know how this is kind of sinister looking, like really super dark? It's because this bitch has the whole entire world in front of her, but she's refusing to take it. She is. She's refusing to fucking take it. She's refusing to see all the beautiful opportunities. Instead, she's looking at that one road, that one fucking shitty road. She's not looking at all the beautiful roads and opportunities that she actually does have. And you, my baby, you have a lot of opportunities. Hella, 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 hella lot. Start banging down those fucking doors and start having faith in yourself, you guys. Wow, so much horses. <laughs> they got horses there, horses there, horsey. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. All right. So in the meantime, this was at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, this was at the bottom. So this is all about healing your heart. Take the time you need to Marvin Gaye, buy a dildo, work on that root chakra, um, work on self-worth and self-esteem because you were trying to, you know, lower your dumb yourself down to this frequency and you deserve better. Like work on your self-worth and your healthy boundaries. Damn damn all right so piece of advice one more just one more piece of advice card for you from your ancestors that walk with you on a daily basis <sighs> star keeper cosmic ancestor See the you're an ancient keeper of the stars here to anchor and seed your light in your unique way you've likely been incarnating on earth for some time dedicated to an era of awakening and bringing about a long-awaited shift in the planet's evolution we're at a tipping point now the survival of earth and all its species is coming to a heed the more grounded you remain during this transitional period the more helpful you'll be the more you tend to the flames of your own heart the more you love you'll anchor onto this planet the wisdom of the stars is imprinted in your soul. The more soul fragments you call home, the more this wisdom is seated here. You may be called to be in a different places in the world to anchor this light, perhaps by taking a trip or living in a certain location. That's wild. Wow. You may also find yourself experiencing awakening symptoms. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become and the less reactive humanity will be. You're here for a double mission, to grow as an individual and as part of a larger collective that's bringing about a shift in frequency. Holy fuck, this is beautiful. Trust that you can be in the world, but not of it, and lead a truly glorious life. Place this card on your heart. And always acknowledge that, yo, I'm a star keeper and I choose to anchor my light and not give it away. The white light of the Holy Spirit protects me in every environment I go to. So yes, my baby, 
you are such a beautiful, gorgeous, healing light of love and happiness and plushness. So, of course, you're going to attract the broken ass. Well, you should, no, there's no such thing as broken in life. But, of course, this you're going to, you know, attract people that are attracted to your loving light glow, you know, because you're a walking angel on earth. I love you. And I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Okay, so, all right, my beautiful babies, let's get, oh, shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That was one of my crystals falling out of my fucking bra, okay? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have tightened my bra, but anyways, okay, let's, uh, let's get into it here. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm too lazy to grab it. It fell way behind. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, let's just get into it straight up. Um... I'm actually going to pull, actually, actually, like an actually life and an actually world. I'm going to pull one of these cards too for you, beautiful babies. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to actually pull whew, two of these ones for my beautiful loves in the world. Ooh, that one just flew out for you. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't see it, but I kind of know what it is. So let's just, I'm just going to flip it because I just keep it real and i don't want to act like i don't know what it was so oh damn i didn't know what it was make the effort okay let's just get into it okay my beautiful babies how are your person's feeling about you how are your beloved's feeling about you that they do not tell a single soul walking this beautiful earth okay you don't even need makeup let's make a baby today and be together forever <laughs> Oh, you guys, that is one of the most beautiful compliments a person could ever give somebody else is when it comes to makeup. And they're like, you don't even need makeup. Don't wear makeup. Like, that's like hella love. And that's hella natural glow. That's like a natural JLo glow that you get like after the most beautiful, gorgeous three days of like lovemaking or extreme sports. Definitely that glow. You know what I mean? That's you. And that's how this person sees you. He fucking loves you. He thinks that you're radiant. He thinks that you're a walking god straight out of a L'Oreal commercial, straight out of the ocean, slow motion walking, glistening gold on your skin. That's you. That's how he sees you, okay? So you're definitely giving me those really hardcore Sonorabi vibes, Cleopatra vibes, okay? Do, 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 which makes sense because, like, you picked Snow White. I feel like dying. So tell me how do I feel so sad. I just need to take a drink of my coffee here. I don't mind if my baby's upstairs. He's kind of, kind of like, yeah, likes to live his best life, eh? Like babies do. Heaven does exist. Oh, I was just like thinking of that movie. Uh, heaven does exist, but no, he, he sees you as heaven on earth, like a walking angel, like a, like God parted the Red Sea and was like, Moses, let my people go. Like, honestly, that's how this guy sees you. He's like, oh my gosh, she's like a real verse out of a biblical chapter that the, the long time ago, patriotic, toxic, masculine guys took out because she was too damn like too damn divine feminine you know what i mean like you should have your own chapter in your own bible because this guy sees you as heaven on earth cleopatra vibes like i said you guys slow-mo walking out of the fucking ocean and you know what's what's your princess that you should have actually is that beautiful princess off atlantis the one with the really long white weave um real long white weave it's her natural white hair and she's like super brown beautiful skin beautiful blue eyes like super gorgeous like really nice powerful she can beat the shit out of any man that's like the princess that they should have made out of these lipsticks because that's you you're the atlantis princess uh, queen i should say because yeah she turns into the queen so that's you like that's the that's the queen that i'm getting because she's like the most beautiful queen out of all the disney princesses you know and it sucks because they didn't even make her awesome which you know she's the best in my opinion she is like, she's the finest. And that's you. Like, that's you. <laughs> Snow White's kind of a basic chick, not to be mean, but... All right, so I'm smack dab in the middle of how he feels about you. What did I just finish saying, bitch? Did you just hear me not say that you're a divine feminine? <laughs> that you're super in your power, you're super glowing, you're like that Atlantis, that fucking Atlantis queen. Okay, you know what? At this moment, you guys have to really Google the Atlantis movie 
and it's the Disney Atlantis and Google that queen. Oh my gosh, when she walks out of the ocean to that cute little nerdy guy, it's so amazing, you guys. So you really have to really, really, really Google the Divine Feminine and really see how beautiful and gorgeous she is because that's you. You're so glowing and you're so beautiful. And what not only makes you so beautiful and gorgeous, like walking out of the ocean, super beautiful, is like you have this beautiful kind heart and energy that he's just in love with. This guy could like die never making love to you, but he would still be in love with you till the day the Lord takes him back home. You best bet. Wow, you guys, this is like the boss ass bitch card of all humanity and all mankind. And my cell phone's like ring a ting tinging over here and I'm just like, hey, what the fuck y'all want? I know I'm popular, but dang. Give me a two seconds, okay. All right, so yeah, so this is you guys. Super beautiful, super amazing, just super beautiful, super gorgeous, um, super in your power. Maybe Brazilian, like maybe I'm thinking maybe a little bit Brazilian because like I am keep getting brown. I keep seeing very brown. Ex um, I don't like saying exotic because no bitch is exotic. <clears throat> Every motherfucker walking this earth is exotic. Like you know, to their own land. Everyone in Canada and the States is exotic except the First Nations people, so you know what I mean? I don't like using that word, but you are brown. You're straight from brown town, super glowing, super gorgeous, super like walking out of the ocean golden, okay? Which reminds me, today's my fast day, which keeps this mama with abs, so thank you God for intermittent fasting, for real. Okay, so what further your person thinks about you? Okay, so, you know, with the energy, you guys, like, obviously you guys are definitely, like, with this smack dab in the middle of what's going on in the nitty gritty right now, I feel like dying. You guys are obviously separated right now. Like, why the fuck y'all fighting? Um, okay, so we start off with Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, okay. So let's work together. Hey, baby, let's go to Vegas. So tell me how do I feel so sad. Ace of emotions, ace of cups. Ooh, that's a beautiful card of love and beginnings. So beautiful. Excuse me, Rose. Excuse me, baby. Okay, two of pentacles, juggling, trying to really like get their shit together when it comes to you so they can make room for your fine goddess ass, walking goddess ass. And then we have Four of Swords, which is all about healing, okay? And you see this bougie chick, she's just bathing, her, getting her salt baths in, her red red um, rose petals, which is obviously, she's a witch. She's a manifester. We all know that if you, whether it's a red petal rose tub or whether it's a pink petal rose tub, whatever, they both have magic manifestations with the color of the petal, okay? We, we know she has Himalayan bath salts in there. She's a little Asian witch going on there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they just call it medicine. No, uh, Nihi Awiwax, we call it medicine women or shaman. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what Asian people, magic people call it. But okay, and then the last one we have is judgment. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So this guy's end game is you. This guy's end game is you falling back in his arms and saying, baby, come home. You know what I mean? Like, he wants this fertile new beginning with you. He wants you, his biggest wish is for you to pick up the phone, for him to pick up his cell phone and to hear your beautiful voice, like the angel singing in his ear saying, baby, come home. Baby, come pick me up. Hey, baby, let's go to Vegas. You know what I mean? So we can get married because you're his heaven on earth and he does want to have a baby with you. We start off, as soon as this guy met you, he was like, hey, bitch you don't even need makeup everybody all you all you basic karens in this whole entire city sit down because my 10 has walked in so he obviously wants to like you know seal the deal and mix your genetics he doesn't want to, you to get away without bearing his child so he's gonna definitely try knock you up for sure definitely break the condom status that's you we have levels to this shit we have He's, we have levels. We have double wrap, and then we have one wrap, and then we have, um, <laughs> man. But yeah, the best is just go raw and fuck it for a guy. I know this shit. I know this shit. Okay, so in the future, in your future, he really wants to heal with you. He wants to, like, get over the heartbreak that you guys just did to one another. 
with the separation has caused a lot of heartbreak and pain. A lot of nights where y'all were both crying over each other. You guys were both like just thinking about each other, having sad moments, looking out of your guys' um, front living room window, just crying, probably touching the window really dramatically and just like thinking of their faces. So definitely chill the fuck out because this guy just wants to heal and move forward and mend and just like, just agree to just like, of course, don't agree to disagree because that never leads anywhere, but just like fight healthily and just agree on some shit and just don't agree on others and just try fucking like com not compensate um the word i'm looking for that i use and because i'm a counselor by trade is is so dumb <laughs> i don't know why i'm having a brain fart but it's definitely a partnership it's a teamwork so you definitely have we all ain't the same we all disagree on some shit no matter who the fuck you are so just try agree the best as possible so it's all about teamwork okay and loving each other love you guys love over fear because you're heaven you're a f you're re re you're re re to Drake and Chris Brown. We all know Drake and Chris Brown will never have another Rihanna. We all know that. And if you look at Rihanna when she got interviewed, oh yeah, how you doing? And then Rihanna was like, well, if you look at my axes, obviously I'm doing. I wasn't the reason we split. Oh, oh, oh burn. Anyways, I want something like that. Google it. So yeah, so this guy in the far future, he just wants to like, once you guys move past the healing and have this great communication, he definitely just wants to start this family. He just wants to fucking haul the horses, haul ass to your guys' big fucking mansion on the hill and just start having babies, start this empire because you guys deserve it and that's what he wants. He just wants you guys for judgment to be served, all the shadows and all the shitty times on the table exposed so you guys can just face the demons, talk about it and move the fuck on, okay? He's done with this. He's done, son, he's tapped out. Like, look at this guy is totally creeping on her ass but the thirst is mutual because she's creeping on him too. She's like, yo, holla at me and he's like, I shall, I shall. You know what I mean? So the thirst is definitely mutual when it comes to you guys hurting unit over each other, okay? But yes, you guys in the near past did have this beautiful, gorgeous beginning and then it just all went to shit just recently. You guys are obviously in this big battle of life. I don't know what the fuck y'all are doing, gladiator life. I don't know, but um, your person's trying to make way. It was maybe to do with his schedule his schedule was really getting in the way. Maybe he was putting his boys first, his career first, his big first. He wasn't putting you first and he wasn't making you a priority. So I feel like he was always putting you on the back burner. He was always like not really prioritizing shit. And then it was going tit for tat and you guys were, you were getting bitter and tr trying to push yourself away. So it was really a battle of the ego more or less. So y'all argued and fought, which is good because that's what you need. And now he's on the doghouse. Now he's in the doghouse and he just feels that your, your energy's pulled away and he feels it. Why? Because you're a walking billion bucks. You're a billion dollar energy and any person would be blessed to be in your energy because you are represented by this divine ass, fine ass bitch queen, like Princess Diana, Mother Teresa mixed together. And then also Amanda Nunes, the MMA champ of the world, mixed all mixed together. So that's that divine, that's you, okay? So let's get into once this guy comes, like, let's see the future for your highest good, your highest, it has to be for your highest good, the um, highest good for you. Okay, because we all know this guy's obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me, Mariah Carey? This guy's motherfucking obsessed with you. We all know this. Like, fuck, I can't make this up. Look at this. So let's actually see what Creator has to say leading forward with this relationship, how it's going to end up. What does Creator have to say, okay? Let's see what Creator has to say. Don't mind my baby. He's jumping around upstairs. Ooh, baby. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Jeez, why is... Okay, so there's a lot of energies here, you guys. We have seven of, uh, pardon me, five of wands at the bottom. So you guys know the way I do this. <clears throat> There we go again, oh my lord. And then we have, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so. This is your skies, this is how it's gonna go in the future according to creator's story, okay? So pardon me for the time it takes to shuffle. So the ultimate energy of this whole entire reading for the outcome is a lot of scraps a lot of scrapping a lot of fights you guys are going to have um you're gonna have to definitely you already did you already did walk away he walked away you walked away you walked away he's being a stubborn ass he'll always be a stubborn ass um he'll always be stubborn <laughs> But you guys do have this chemistry. You guys do have this vi this union, this track that's definitely made in the stars. You guys are have this powerful attraction because you guys are meant to learn one of the most powerful soul lessons that you will ever live. This is a very powerful connection, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, this is powerful. Um, this connection is really meant to pain you. This connection is one of your hugest life lessons you will ever have okay um this is this is for the time being just the time being relationship you guys will work on it try work on it in the future um it's going to be still stagnant a lot of juggling it's going to be him not prioritizing you and you having to really take a step back and realize what is my priorities like what do i have to do for me and definitely you'll realize that, you know, the scales are not equal with you and him too much. The scales are not your guys's powerhouse qualities are in different houses. Your guys's powerhouse qualities are in different sectors. You guys are both amazing, beautiful people with great, um, great attributes, but the powerhouse sectors that would accommodate your life path are better suited for someone else as him he has somebody out there that's better suited for his criteria okay but you guys are meant to link up in this life for sure so it's going to take a lot of strength to be patient with his ass it's going to take a lot of compassion to even try make this relationship work it's not going to work but you're going to try if you continue you're going to see that there is a lot of options out there eventually and you're gonna start seeing your power at the bottom of the, at the bottom of this like five of wands we have this um queen of pentacles i seen peeped out so definitely you're gonna start to recognize your power and know that you do have a lot of like options out there you're super fucking magnetic like first of all we all know this from this reading but you guys are going to definitely have that of course like that magnetic attraction to one another because you guys are both powerful old ass wise OG spirits with really hardcore. This is a fucking painful. This is going to be a painful lesson. I'm like straight up. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be one of the it's going to be like I tell my people I work with like crack meth is not the most powerful addiction and most powerful addiction is another human being. It really is. You will eventually recognize once again how fucking boss you are, how fucking powerful you are, how Beyonce, Mariah Carey, I, I just, I, you know, post Luciferianism before I knew that they existed in that satanic cult. But anyways, that beautiful energy, you guys, that like, like I, I'm just going to keep saying Mother Teresa, Princess Diana, Amanda Nunes, that kind of boss energy, you guys, that's you all together. That's you. You're definitely one one to be reckoned with no one even fucks with you because your energy is like don't fuck with me energy you know so yeah you're gonna take this time to definitely solitude recognize your power you'll probably fuck off to tahiti or bora bora for two weeks knowing your bougie ass and really get into how really boss bomb you are and you'll realize after a long time of contemplation and meditation how amazing you are 
and then you'll come back and you'll be like, okay, I gotta, I gotta deuce. Like I got, I'm, this is done. You'll finally have so much self-worth and self-respect. You'll realize that it's done. You tried everything, but you, at the end of the day, you can't beat a dead horse. At the end of the day, you can't beat a dead horse. You can't just keep fucking with the same, you can't beat a dead horse. Like you're going to keep trying and trying at this relationship. It's never going to work. You're just prolonging your beautiful life with another person by trying to prolong this relationship and then it'll just lead to deception and a fuck ton of pain so that's yeah that's <laughs> if you continue with this person okay holy man this is a powerful ass karmic connection here karmic soulmate all right so advice from spirit i'll pull a card for advice from spirit for you my beautiful queen and i'm sorry that that's the demise that's if you choose all right this is the one that flipped out Ooh, baby did you okay okay fuck this energy vampire focus on you boo boo so spirit kichimantu creator says fuck this energy vampire focus on you it's just time to really focus on you, focus on what you're doing in life, focus on your empress energy, you guys, for frick's sakes. How many times do I have to say this? You are that bitch. Like, look at you guys. You are that bitch. You are the one who brings all the cattle home and all the bag home. You're Cleopatra, Princess Diana, Mother Teresa, Amanda Nunes. You are you. You are divine. You are strong. You are beautiful. You're a boss bitch. You own the fucking company. Okay, you call the shots. You're a show caller. So yeah, this guy is just really not giving you what you deserve. Fuck this energy vampire. Just focus on you is advice from spirit. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you see these two pop out? So this one is bitch got options. So yes, you have options. You have a fuck ton of options. Like we seen, where was it? Like we seen right here. You're going to realize if you do keep going with this guy that you have so many options because you're such a catch. Like, guys would just hit it raw and make sure they would freaking impregnate you. Like, you're definitely, you're, like I said, you're top dog, you're top notch. Any city you're in, you're that bitch, okay? This is amazing, you guys. I have so many spirit kitschy Muntu says cards, and they're so positive. So for these ones to come out, like, spirit is straight up loves you so much because when spirit loves you, they give it to you straight, no chaser. And they're telling you, yo, you got options. Like, why are you trying to fucking dig on this guy? Know your self-worth and know your healthy boundaries and don't fucking lower your frequency for no motherfucker. Ah, so yes, <clears throat> baby, I love you. You are so amazing. This reading totally, totally blew my mind. This is like the reading of a lifetime. I haven't had a reading like this in like ever in my life, to be honest. The energies were amazing and I'm... I'm super so so happy that you <laughs> clicked on this so yes I love you so much stay being the powerful queen you are and I love you and I'll see you next time on beautiful love Daryl hey my beautiful loves hi welcome to beautiful love tarot Thank you for joining me today I really appreciate you guys this is for my pile number fours those who chose the Cinderella beautiful gorgeous lip salt I really appreciate you guys being here um I really super thank you guys I just really feel super happy that we definitely just can come together and just bring all this beautiful energy and all this beautiful light and I just love you guys so much and yeah thank you for joining me for beautiful love tarot so this is pile number four this is Cinderella how does your person feel about you deep in your heart space deep in their heart space that they do not disclose to um, anyone in this whole entire world. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. How your person really feels about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell anybody. Okay, so let's get into it. Alrighty. And also, I am currently moving right now. I'm finding, I found a place, so I'm just getting all my stuff together. It's been crazy. It's been really kind of tough. Um, so once I do, I am stabilized. I'll definitely try to come out with way more readings for you guys. And if you guys ever miss me and want to have tea with me about like 
soulmate contracts, karmic contracts, um, the dark, the dark spirits, awakening, suicide, depression, how to align with your soulmate. Definitely go to my other channel link down below, Cherish Love Talks. There you can sit down with me. We can have tea. We can talk. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, my beautiful babies. All right. So, okay. The first thing, the first thing first that this guy thinks you, <laughs> the person you're inquiring about is what the fuck is wrong with me? I fucked up. So this person is definitely thinking like, he really messed up with you. He loves you so much. He thinks like that he doesn't know what to do in life. Like he definitely feels like he fucked up. Like, I don't know, <laughs> like definitely this guy thinks that he really messed up, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, wow. I never get like, I straight up never get readings like this. Like maybe once in a blue moon, like maybe like, maybe like once, this is probably the sixth time out of hundreds of readings that I have got this card. So definitely, definitely this is a twin flame reading. This is a twin flame reading, you guys. If you guys chose this pile, know that this is a twin flame reading and that's it, that's all, that's all there is to it. Like I cannot even believe how amazing this is. Like this card is never chosen, like that's amazing heartbreak kid like you're honestly you're such a heartbreaker to this guy he doesn't know how to breathe he doesn't know what to do he's definitely feeling like he's in love and he can't even fathom life without you the pain that he feels in his heart is something he has never felt with anybody walking god's green earth okay you're his sun his stars his moon like everything like i can't even with this this is gorgeous. Okay, let's get into it. We're going to pick a card from this deck for the present energy, okay? For the beautiful present energy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. Okay, so... Definitely he puts you on a pedestal. Definitely he recognizes your divinity. Definitely he recognizes how gorgeous, how beautiful, and how powerful and magical you are. White buffalo calf woman, you guys. You know, Mother Anza, who is the divine feminine of the Godhead, comes and shows herself in each tribe across the world, whether it's in um, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Austria, whether it's in New Zealand, Hawaii, South America, Canada. So Mama Gaia will come show herself. Mama Anza will come show herself in any way that the certain tribe sees her, depicts her. In India, Lakshmi, Hinduism, Lakshmi. So definitely when she comes to you, it's definitely a gorgeous, like beautiful white buffalo calf woman who showed up to the Lakota Nations as I'm going to come back when the earth mourns and the people, the lands cry and the soul weeps out for my help, which is happening right now. So he sees you as coming into alignment with him in this current energy because of what's going on in the world. He knows that he is strengthening and he went through awakening after awakening after awakening. And he recognizes that you are exactly the mirror and the same path and the, you recognize him you know him inside and out you know his emotions you're psychic about him you know when he's in pain you know when he's acting weird you know everything about him and he recognizes how fucking powerful and a divine beautiful woman you are like white buffalo calf woman you guys is legit of a, a savior to like the lakota nations man she's divine feminine and you know how the religions catholicism christianity just totally wiped out the divine feminine She's coming back because she has to restore the toxic masculine that has fucked up this world. This world is running on toxic masculine and we need to realign with the divine feminine because that's the only way that's going to heal. We need to realign with divine feminine in all areas because that's the only way that anything could ever be healed on this world is replacing the divine feminine. And he recognizes that in you because you're his mirror. You're his other half. You're the high priestess. You came into his life and you just saved his life and you brought like 200 buffalo to save the starving Lakota nations like this lady did, metaphorically speaking. Okay, let's get into your tarot cards. So we start off with, what do we have here? 
three of pentacles working together right now over me okay then we have six of pentacles which is all about equality going backwards going frontwards oh my god yeah you guys are such a good team and then we have the chariot smack dab in the middle <laughs> This guy loves you, you guys. He just loves you so much. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Yes, this guy's getting clarity. He knows that you're the one. No matter what he has to do, he's going to come back to you because you're his ultimate goal. You're his ultimate win list. You're his ultimate Spotify fucking don't. Nobody is allowed to listen to the Spotify list. That kind of energy. He just that you're all his. That's it. He's very he wants to be dominant over you, protect you. He really is very your toxic. Uh, Pardon me. Very, very, very your divine masculine, okay? And he knows it. A divine masculine isn't afraid to step into his masculinity and protect his bay. And you are definitely someone he wants to protect and be there forever and ever. Amen. Oh my gosh, you guys. Judgment. Yes, he's going to come back. You guys are going to have this beautiful reunion. Your guys' lessons will be learned through this separation. All the lessons will be learned. Karma will be weighed out. All this little karmic shadow work you guys are going through is going to pay off, okay? So all the pain that he's going through with this what the fuck is wrong with me, I fucked up. It's teaching him lessons. It's teaching him how to act, how, how to communicate. It's also teaching you patience, healthy boundaries, self-worth. So definitely the separation, it's beautiful, you guys, because he's painting through it and recognizing your divinity and the attachment you guys have. When twin flames, you guys come together it's electric it's energy they don't even make love and they feel this automatic beautiful beautiful gorgeous bond like no other it's euphoric it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's unbelievable it's amazing it's like everything that you ever prayed for and wanted and that's all that he has like he just loves you so much and all he has is this beautiful world with you so he definitely just wants to carry it out with you have this beautiful life with you like he just loves you so much and he just wants you to be happy. And definitely the sacred woman is all about, about him recognizing that you are his mirror. You're psychic about him. Why? Because you guys are in the same person, just in different forms. You guys probably even look the same. Same habits, same life path. You guys came here to save a lot of soul, not save a lot of souls, but lead souls to their highest good and their healing journeys. So definitely white buffalo calf woman. Yo, you gotta Google White Buffalo Catwoman. Like, she came, she's divine Mama Anza, shows up in different tribes as whatever the tribe will familiarize, familiarize themselves with. So, this lady came to Canada, South, South Dakota, and she saved the Lakota nations when they were going through their starving times because of the whole colonization and stuff like that. And she made the prophecies that I will come again one day to restore the polarity because right now there's way too much fucking toxic masculine look at the world they're just raping and genociding the world so hi hi he loves you and he sees how sacred you are so after you guys go through this because you did you know you you are a fucking heartbreaker let's be real here you're a heartbreaker you not only broke this guy's heart but you probably broke a lot of hearts along the, your journey called life because <laughs> you're so fine you're so fine hey segment you're so fine you're so funny blah blah man Hey, Mickey. Yeah, so the scales will weigh out. Your guys' beautiful karmic lessons will weigh out. And then it's going to be so beautiful and gorgeous. And you guys can hold hands and go off into the distance with their babies to that ranch where you guys save little baby animals. Okay? All right, let's, like, get some beautiful... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I'll just pull some cards for this for you. Also, further feelings, how he feels for you, okay? I love you. Further. Ooh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love that. Look at these ones that popped out. Okay, so definitely when you guys first met, it was like, oh, you found a new love and she's what dreams are made of. Yeah, new love. Definitely loved you from the hop, like straight up from the hop. Um, definitely just wants to come back, be playful with you, make it light keep it tight and just wants to like flirt with you and hold hands and just love each other and just be there for one another forever and ever. Amen. Cause I'm going to love you forever. 
Forever and ever, amen. Yeah, you guys are twin flames, fucking rates. Yeah, man. This is so beautiful, you guys. So he's gonna come back, make it light, don't be so fucking serious and scare him off and say, oh, we're twin flames, we're gonna be together for a couple fucking 10 more reincarnations. Like, don't scare the shit out of the guy, okay? Keep it light, don't be creepy. Um, so yeah, so he wants to go on this beautiful honeymoon, move away from Six of Swords card, move away from all the bullshit and all the trauma of the past and a lot of sleepless nights you caused them. <laughs> You both caused each other. He wants to move away from the fighting and just go on a honeymoon, make a lot of love, and make love on red velvet, beautiful, gorgeous, duck feathered pillows and duck feathered blankets. Mm, this is such a gorgeous card, you guys. So yeah, so maybe go to the mountains, take that little drive to the valleys, go on that hike, and just be playful and fun. Make it light, don't be so serious, but he's gonna come back because you guys are twin flames and he loves you. All right, okay. That's so gorgeous, you guys. That's so beautiful. I love this reading. Okay, so I'm going to actually get for you more cards of what he thinks about you. more cards. Sometimes I wake up. Okay, so these are three more cards of what he th thinks about you. Please, please have my babies. I need to have you forever and ever. Aw, you guys see? He's gonna come back and he's definitely gonna wanna just have babies with you and keep this beautiful, gorgeous relationship going. Like, you guys are always going to come back to each other's arms. You guys are always gonna feel each other's emotions. You'll finish each other's sentences. You guys will make each other the best versions of one another. So you guys definitely will start a family. Instead of keying my car, use that key to unlock this heart. <laughs> Instead of keying my car, use that key to unlock this heart. So he knows you're feisty. He knows you're beautiful and gorgeous. You're feisty. You're everything he's ever dreamt of. And he likes that. He likes that you stick up for yourself. He likes that you put him in the doghouse because he did fuck up. He likes that about you. He likes that you're a strong woman. He likes your strength. He's in love with your strength. Because he knows he fucked up, and he knows he deserved it, okay? All right, um, and then we have, I don't want to love again. So this guy's really heartbroken thinking about you all the time. Because we have so many cards of heartbreak around, <laughs> like heartbreak around here. And also look at heartbreak, like heartbreak kid. Like, yeah, you stuck him in the doghouse, rightfully so. Like, no one treats you like that. You have to have healthy boundaries. So definitely, he's thinking about it a lot. So he's definitely going within... He's getting a lot of lessons through this painful separation and just know that he loves you and he just wants to definitely, he only wants to love you. This card really says, I don't want to love again because you're the only one I want to love at forever and ever. Like, this is like some, this is, fuck you guys, like this is the, the notebook, the vow times 20 on steroids, okay? This is gorgeous. So, let's get some advice for you from Crater Says. Just advice for you. This is a gorgeous reading, by the way. This guy's obsessed with you. Because you are his divine feminine. Twin flames are not other half. You're a fucking full person, okay? All right, let's see this. You always move too fast. <laughs> okay, so Kichimantu saying, obviously in this relationship, you, my watcher, you're learning lessons. And your hugest lesson that you're learning is you always move way the fuck too fast. So kind of put a, you know, put a little pedal to it. Like have some breaks. Know that you have a lot of time in the world. So just have boundaries. Have boundaries and just make those boundaries. And you don't have to move fast through everything. It's going to be okay. Um, know that no matter what, he's always going to be there. So don't be texting him or trying to contact him. Take it slow. Take it slow. So you're learning patience. Patience. And you're learning not to try fucking throw codependent tendencies you might have. You know how codependency, how you always want to be in a relationship or you always want to be held at night. Really J-Lo-ish where she always has to jump in from one relationship to another. She's addicted to, to relationships. She even says that in her book. Um, but yeah, definitely you have to learn to not move so fast, not to be so codependent and to be, find your own damn happiness. Do your own passion right now. 
The separation is painful, but it's teaching you to have boundaries. Don't fucking text him. Let him come back to you. Healthy boundaries means self-worth and self-esteem. So do what makes you happy. Even if this is really painful and you have to go cry in your car or go cry in the gym shower after a good workout session, go cry in your yoga class, whatever. You have to just cry, 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 and just let it out. Whatever you got to do, but stay. Don't fucking throw yourself into this guy's arms. Like, let him suffer a little bit. And you too, have those healthy boundaries and your self-worth and your self-esteem. That's what this is teaching you, you guys, is self-esteem, self-worth, and your healthy boundaries, and to be patient. This separation is teaching you a lot. It's teaching you, you might watch your patience and self-love and self-esteem, and it's teaching his ass to have some fucking respect. Have some respect and don't treat people like shit. Don't be ghosty. Don't be acting two-sided. So this is teaching him stuff and it's teaching you stuff. And that's what twin flame relationships do. And separation is the biggest teacher. Pain is the biggest teacher, you guys. Pain is your biggest motivator. Pain is your biggest strengthening times, okay? This is fucking beautiful. <laughs> this is a beautiful, gorgeous reading. Whoever chose pile number four, Cinderella, I love you so much and I just thank you so much for choosing this because this is beautiful and like i said i've only ever had like six of these in hundreds of readings so this is gorgeous y'all are twin flames if you don't know what that is google it okay so i love you so much my beautiful psychic this is my psychic pile my beautiful gorgeous divine feminine you already know what the fuck's up because you already have that huge ass pollenial gland bouncing off everybody so yeah i love you so much and keep being your beautiful magical self i love you